Hello viewers and welcome to my very first tutorial video on Roller Coaster Tycoon 2. I figured I'd make one of these because there aren't very many on YouTube and um, I've seen on numerous videos of um, skilled Roller Coaster Tycoon 2 players like um, Matsuki 84, Flux Trance and all those other guys that um, make like incredible parks and amazing roller coasters with incredible and outstanding excitement ratings. Um, um, I've seen a lot of people ask questions of like how, you know, their park ratings are so good and how, um, how they build their scenery and, um, you know, how they just generally build their parks and they, there are so many questions. Well, um, I'm going to try my best to do the best that I can at these tutorials, um, so I can show you guys how I make really good roller coasters and, um, scenery park building and all that stuff i'm going to go over all those in separate videos this episode or this tutorial rather is going to be about um excitement rating now excitement rating is based off how um, much your um, guests are um excited about a certain ride or a roller coaster depending on where it is what scenery is around it what other rides are around it and whether roller coasters are going through it around it whatever so um first off um to explain just how to make um a high excitement riding roller coaster i'm just going to build a standard roller coaster just custom design and um this is just i'm just going to go over like generally what increases the excitement rating of a roller coaster so I'm just gonna build a simple roller coaster a simple looping roller coaster I'm gonna have it go about this high up come back down give it a loop Another little hill here. And then I'm going to have it come back into the station. Whoops. I think I'm going to have it go a little bit further. And, um... Whoops. Dang. Okay. A little tougher than I expected. And I'm just gonna break it here. And then block breaks. So, um,. Here is a simple roller coaster that I just built, um, and without any changes to anything, um, let's just test the roller coaster and see how high the excitement rating will go. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and just increase the chain lift hill speed there, so. <coughs> Excuse me. There it goes, above the loop, over that hill, and then around these helixes, and then it'll hit the brakes, and then to the block brakes, and so. And actually another important note, I might do block brakes as another tutorial, so, okay, let's check the excitement rating as it is. So. It got a 5.27. Not bad, but it could be loads better. So, um, I'm going to go over the first thing about increasing excitement rating on a roller coaster is pathways. Now, you know, you already know you have to build a queue line that comes out of the roller coaster. 
and then so the guests can enter the line and then um, ride the roller coaster. Obviously, duh. So, um, one thing about being making paths is be creative. I know there's just this standard like queue line that goes to the exit, or you could also, if you're a little better, you could go to the next level and maybe go above the station and then back down. Make it go beside the roller coaster over here. And then back above the block brakes and back down. So anything like that. Um, and then make the pathways for the exit. And then there you go. So already it increases it increased the excitement rating by 0 .08. So pathways are one thing that can increase the excitement rating of a roller coaster. Um, and you can have, like, pathways going anywhere, anywhere around the roller coaster will increase it. And then, um, but every topic that increases the excitement rating of a roller coaster has its peak. Like, c scenery can only increase, um, the excitement rating of a roller coaster, or pathways can only increase the excitement rating of a roller coaster by however much. You know, there's, there's a limit to how much increase the excitement rating will have on um, each thing that goes around it, goes through it, above it, or below it, whatever. So, um, the next thing that can increase in an roller coaster's excitement rating is the station. You can either, you know, it is pretty cool to just have a custom, you know, like canvas tent entrance like this, or, you know, you could be creative and um, make a custom station like I'm going to do right now. Um, I'm not going to make it too complicated because um, I don't want to spend so much time on it. So I'm just going to make a little um, three by however long the station is plus two. Yeah, I'm going to make it that long. So here's pretty much the base of the um station and now you're probably wondering well I can't put a roof with just one um layer of uh building here so we're gonna have to go one more above and as you can see it still isn't enough height to even go above the roller coaster there on the second layer and so yeah this is about all I'm gonna get for the second layer, so I have to go to a third layer of height. So, let's go up here. Go ahead and give the corners the window pieces. And sort of just follow all the way around the building. And there you go. And you can even so you don't see like ground in the building you can go ahead and put walls in where you can see into the building just so you know it just looks better so you don't see you know the coaster with the other ground in the building that would just kind of look out of place so that's what the purpose of these walls inside the building are for and then um finally we can build a roof so now that the um station is high enough we can begin building a roof. And I'm actually going to use the um, brick base for this roof. Oops. And you know, a, a big crucial thing about excitement rating, and this also falls under park building, is just being creative. Um, Try not to be so generic about everything. Try to just come up with things on your own. And, um, you know, try not to co copy others off YouTube because people will hop on you for that. Like, I've seen it in some people's videos. Some people have copied other users' creations. Plagiarizing is not good, my friends. It can get you in a world of trouble. And then here's also what I'm talking about right here. You can just build a wall up right there. Where you can see the uh, pathways. And just kind of build around those. 
so you can't see, you know, inside the building. So just kind of make them like that. And then to follow up this, put one more there. And then to follow up these and just fill in all the space with however big you need the walls to be. And there we go, we finished our station for this roller coaster. And then you can give it like a name, I'm just going to name it something simple, Silver Rush. And then, um, usually you can do what I do, and um, put like a sign, like right here or above the queue line it says silver rush and another thing that I like to do with the queue line is just put in queue line TVs every other space so yeah now let's see how much that increased the excitement rating it increased it by quite a bit it was like 5.35 and now it's 5.46 so stations as you can see ooh whoops I dropped um I can okay um, stations also increase the excitement rating by quite a bit, um, depending on how big, how much stuff you have in the station, um, how big the station is, doesn't matter, anything can, as the more things you have, the key, another key that I should have mentioned earlier is the, a, a key thing to remember when trying to get your roller coaster excitement rating as high as it can go is the more the merrier, just the more scenery, the more everything, anything, the more anything you have, um, It'll increase the excitement rating even more to the point where it, it just can't increase anymore. And then you got like the most possible excitement rating you could possibly have. So the next topic that it can increase a ride's um, excitement rating is just general scenery. Like um, for an example, I'm going to show you. So excitement rating is 5.46. You can even... I'm going to build like a little top piece for the top of this lift hill. And um, I'm going to make a little sign that goes along with it. That's going to be put right above the... And I can't tell which one is where. So it's going above there. I don't really believe that, but um, will that work? Uh, that one's going there. So I don't know what the problem with that one is. Um, whatever. Oh well, it doesn't matter. Um, it's all just about being creative. And then you can put a little sign that says Silver Rush there. And then um, I'm going to put a little... And whoops, I ran out of money, so I'm just going to have to increase the loan of this part. Freaking Six Flags. Build your own. Interrupting me as usual. Um, and then you can build a little roof around here. And another um, very important thing to remember is holding shift, you can control the height of the scenery. Holding control, you can place another piece of scenery at the um, on the from the scenery that you held control on, and you can put that scenery's height to the same as the scenery you held control on. Um, it's very important to remember that. I use that a lot. Um, in my scenery building and then voila and then I'm just gonna have a uh, silver supports for this and then um, even put the uh, other um, support structure have it go around there and then make it over the roller coaster here. It's really just all about being creative. If you can just be creative, you'll be fine. 
All you gotta do is be creative, and the coaster will pop out for you. And then, um, it's kind of strange how the excitement rating didn't change there. And then, Silver Rush, and Silver Rush. So, as you can see, um, didn't quite change a bit. Uh, there's still a lot of scenery. Another thing, another easy strategy you can have that'll increase the excitement rating is just have trees going around the roller coaster. Trees also will increase the excitement rating by quite a bit. I see it a lot in people um, building their roller coasters. They use a lot of trees and it really does increase the excitement rating by quite a bit. Um, and try not to use just one kind of tree. Kind of try to use a little bit of a variety. Like I'm going to use like three or four different kinds of trees around your roller coaster and you'll be fine. Try not to make one more than the other. And this is good. Just try to equalize the amount of trees you have. So yeah. And I, I noticed how I left um, the helix space open for like things like maybe pyramids where they don't fit in there. So you can put in like these inside. You know? Or something that has like a 3x or a 2x2 two two or a 4x4 four four base. Like this, for example, you can put in these. These are probably the most used um, scenery 4x4 uh, four four blocks for the helixes. I see people use that a lot. You can even put in the Martian things inside the helixes. They help out a lot. And um, as you can see, the, the excitement rating increased yet again, and it increased to 5.65 from 5.46. Um, so, probably the last and final thing that will increase uh, roller coaster's excitement rating are um, simply just building other rides around the roller coaster. So, the excitement rating is now what? 5.65? Say we build a twist or an enterprise maybe like right here only take out these trees to give room for the ride and then we're gonna put it yeah like right here and then we're gonna have it sort of um revolutionize upward towards the roller coaster and then you know maybe and you can even give rides like this um like i can name this tidal wave and you can even give rides like this, um, stations too, you know. Just because they're thrill or gentle rides doesn't mean they don't deserve, you know, stations. You can even have them go. You can even build the stations, um, over and around, um, other parts of the roller coaster that you're building it near. And that'll increase the excitement rating of both, so. Combining buildings will also look very nice in your park. And then, you know, price. Well, that's not really what I'm going over. If you want to know a little bit about prices, just make the uh, price of whatever ride you have the excitement rating of the ride, and you should be fine. So, I'm going to open up Tidal Wave, and you know, since we're pretty much done building Silver Rush, let's go ahead and open it for the guests to ride. So, and then, you know, the more rides you have, the more guests will be attracted to your park. So, um, so what was it, 5.65? Um... Wow, it actually went down 0.01. I don't know how that happened. I guess it was because I took out the trees and it didn't just register the ride next to it yet. Because I know other rides increase excitement rating. I just haven't done it yet. But, yeah. So... It's, it's, it's going to keep going up. Um, trees and other rides and all that stuff will also increase the excitement rating of your roller coaster. And this next thing that I'm going to show you is probably one of the best ways to increase um, to increase the excitement rating of your roller coaster. Notice how I put in a loop here. Well, there's a thing that a lot of people do, like myself, and it's called interlocking loops. I'm sure I know you all have heard it before. Say I want to build like a launched roller coaster, a launched little like shuttle loop from Roller Coaster Cycling 1 right here. I have it go inside the loop. 
and then I probably made it too far over, or go higher, yeah, and then we have an interlocking loop, and then, you know, you can even, you know, and then have it go up here, and then make its own little design here, maybe you can make it, like, called moon launch or rocket launch or something, and then how it goes, you know, past all these other rides is things, so, you know, and then you can test it out, and then, see how fast it goes, I probably made it a little too fast, oop, just barely, just barely, oh man, if it would have crashed, I'd be so embarrassed, but, yeah, maybe I should tone down the launch, just a little bit. Um, and notice how it's 5.65. Look at that. Look at that big jump in excitement rating. And yeah, that only happened because I forgot to make the end of the uh, um, back here. I forgot to make the end of the um, the hill like that. Because in roller coaster, I'm used to how it was in roller coaster tycoon one when you can just you didn't even have to build this. You could just go up and then it'll break right back into the station. I used to not be like that, but that's not the point. The point is, you know, interlocking loops will increase the excitement rating by quite a bit. So it used to be 5.65, now it's 6.49. That's like a big point ninety jump in excitement rating. And that'll attract a lot of guests to your roller coaster. Um, and you can't price them in this park because it's stupid how... I hate, I hate parks that have... Um, admission prices and how you can't price um, rides. It's probably like the worst kind of park ever, so that's pretty much all I have to go over for excitement rating. Um, still, that crash was pretty chameleon. I can't believe that happened. I'm still used to Rollercoaster Tycoon 1 um, shuttle loop styles and where you don't have to make this end part right here. But um, anyways, that's all I pretty much have to offer in this tutorial. The next tutorial um, will be um, strictly scenery and um, different kinds of scenery and how like different like stuff like this and this and this and trees and everything and how they can um, make a huge impact on our roller coaster excitement so I want to thank you all for watching um, comment rate subscribe and I'll see you in my next video so see you later